we have to defeat aliens today. And I know that that's mildly ironic, considering my character is dressed up as the xenomorph from the titular movie Alien. But <laughs> even with that said, it just means that we've got a lot to do, right? Like these aliens are going to prove to be a pain in the butt. It's not something I necessarily wanted to do, but we have a good setup. We, we've got some really high DPS and the result is that's going to help us um, a bunch when it comes to taking out things like the uh, the UFO. So we're, gonna, we're basically going to focus on that <clears throat> as best we can. I hate these stupid rocket things. Oh, crap. This, this is a problem. <laughs> I can't just hang out in my bubble, you know? And at any given point when I get low, I literally have to just peace out. I just got to go to the next area. Well, this is, this is kind of nice. Like I, I just got to use my magic mirror to go back underground, which is why we set our thing there. But I mean, look at all these stupid gun things. Like at the moment we go out there, it's going to be ridiculous. Kind of, kind of stupid, but that's, that's, that's what we're dealing with today. We're dealing with freaking aliens, even though again, I am the xenomorph. I am the, I am the boss alien. I just need to show these aliens who's boss. I've already had to go back once. Got pretty low there, 95. Those missile guys are a pain in the booty. Oh no, <laughs> just re-teleported. Like they, they're, they're not, they're no fun. You literally just get hit by a missile and you can't really do anything to avoid it unless you try to kill said missile. But that's not, that's not easy to do. It's really kind of annoying. Do I happen to have any, do, do, do. no, I was hoping that I had some buffs or whatever in there, but I do not. That is fine. All right, we're gonna head back up. Uh, once our health regens a bit and try this again. Part of me is hoping to get a UFO, but honestly, I just, I really don't. <laughs> I just really don't want to deal with it. It's a little much. It's just too much damage. I, this is such a dangerous event to have to get through, but we have to get through it. And I kind of want to just go back right now. So I'm, I'm actually just kind of waiting for a moment here for any kind of rockets or anything. Cause I have 15 seconds on a heal. So I could sit here and heal, but I have a feeling that this is not gonna end the way that I want it to. So six, five, I'm literally just waiting for my heal. Oh, you know what? Actually this gun is, oh yeah, that's bad. We're going. <laughs> and this is my life now. Oh, you know what? I was, I was gonna set up my melee thing and I totally forgot that I didn't have any of my summons. I, I could go get the um, the summon thing real quick. I think that would actually be pretty nice. But that's uh, not something I was uh, <clears throat> actually anticipating having to remember. And then, yeah, just that kind of, well, just gonna have to fix that. All right, we're gonna swap that out. I'm just basically putting all of my other accessories back on just because I think that it might be better. Ooh, we'll see. Um, as far as damage is concerned. You know, we've, <laughs> that's the thing, right? We have a melee setup for a reason. We're not, we're not just sitting here in a mage build because it does a lot of damage. I, I have multiple different builds going on for different things and it's worth trying this and being like, is this going to be a little bit better? Maybe I may go hit the bewitching table so I can get another one of these tornadoes. Cause actually the sharknadoes are quite nice uh, to have and would be really nice if I'm having to deal with things like the, the uh, UFO, right? So that's stuff to keep in mind. Man, look at all these rocket dudes. I'm getting kind of hammered by that. All right, let's pop that and while I'm at it. Oh, no, I didn't want to. No, spider, go away, spider. I want a thing. Okay. Surprised I haven't gotten hit by them yet. Right, we're, we're going to use the, the hatchet on those old rocket guys, I think. I think that's just the smarter idea. <laughs> it just works so much better. Um, I'm debating just going into my little hole my hole, but I got my house here, but I think that the current setup we have actually might work quite well. Yeah. Look at this. Like I could just sit here and throw these this way and not really have to worry too much about that. I like that a lot. I, I literally am just like cheesing this event. <laughs> I, I tried a UFO and I, j I just can't, I can't put the risk there. It's not worth it. It's really just not like, you know, if it takes me so long to kill the UFO in the melee build, but the melee build is the only thing keeping me alive between my vampiric knives and my, um, just my defense in general, then <laughs> like switching over to try to kill the, 
the UFO because I happen to have a high DPS build that I could use against it, but super weak uh, as far as defense. And is it really that worth it? Not, not really. Not, not really. I don't think, I don't think I'm gonna jeopardize our hardcore run on a stupid event that I actually don't even like to begin with. <laughs> right? Like, does that make sense? It's just, let's just cheese it, you know, kind of like we are. And I, and I don't mean like cheese it like we're cheesing it in a stupid way. Or like we have like an AFK farm, but I, you know, I, I am doing this in a way. Oh, here's another UFO. I mean, we could try it. We're at 90%. It's the middle of the day now. So it's a little actually less risky to do this in the middle of the day because you can actually see a little bit of what's going on enemy wise a bit better. But like, look at this. I just don't do any damage to this thing. And the, the real way, in my opinion, to actually be doing this is with like super high DPS, like our mage build. I'm just getting whacked here. I'll try to get the UFO to follow us, despawn. I, I by the way, the, the easiest way for me to just get rid of the UFOs was just to run one direction and then run back because it just disappears. It's really easy. I didn't even have to teleport home or anything. And I, uh, yep, there you go. See, it just disappeared. See how that happens? Like, it was so easy for me to get rid of them um, without having to go all the way down and, and and halt my progress on the event because, you know, stuff doesn't spawn down there. So, yeah, I don't know. I When it comes to the UFO event, the, the Martian Madness event, I, I hate it. I really do. Like, that's the thing I love most about mods um, so far from what I've played. Some mods go and change this and and give you things that are actually necessary from it. So you, you you do feel like you get a reward out of doing it, even though if it's not the greatest event ever. So that's something to keep in mind. You know, on top of the whole concept of like, these, these events are modular in some ways. Like you could add stuff to it or change it around or make it a little bit more interesting in one form or fashion and some of the mods do that and some of them just don't touch it because they realize players don't want to do the, the events to begin with so it's one of those all right we defeated it we didn't kill a ufo but i don't think that anybody is going to be too upset about that i think it would have been cooler to do it but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna risk our hardcore character on that it doesn't make any sense out of all that this is what i got i've never seen this i didn't even know this was an item it's a, it's like an, a wet, well, it's a drill. Like it's straight up, uh, it says 230% pickaxe power or it says 210. So actually, technically speaking, it's far better than what I've got. I've never known that this was a thing. I'm really curious now. Like if I, uh, let's, let's just put it there for now. And if I was using, uh, let's go down here. I also didn't really get that much plating. I was expecting to get more. Usually I would get like above 200, but didn't get they ain't getting nothing. It's probably they're there. I was farming it. All right. That's cool. Whatever. I guess <laughs> it's cool. I'd never seen that item before. I didn't know it existed. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm just going to go clear up my inventory and then maybe we do Duke and, or actually maybe we take our mage build on our journey mode character and we test out, um, Empress of Light. And we see if that's a possibility because that would actually be a pretty cool get. Um, we also still haven't put this thing down. Uh, let's pop this up. There we go. Let's, uh, wait, where did it go? There it is. Uh, and then we put this do, 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 one, two, bam. You know what? That feeling of accomplishment is really nice. Getting Duke down. That, that was a tough one. And one that I didn't necessarily need to do at all anyway. So it's kind of a nice little thing. Right, I'm going to go sell this and clean up my inventory. So I cleaned up my inventory, uh, the, the plates, by the way, the, the conduit plating or whatever it's called, that actually doesn't sell for anything, which I'm shocked because I wish that it did. Yeah. And then I went and grabbed the last two truffle worms that I have, and I'm going to go ahead and try to farm this out. Probably won't show all of it. Um, but yeah, we're going to, we're just going to kill off the Duke yet again. We're going to buff. I'm going to come over here. I already turned this off to get my buffed up guys. And yeah. Oh, wait. Uh, go. I'm actually running out of buffs. I do need to get more summon potion buffs and stuff like that. So, oh, I screwed that up. I, at least I didn't use one of my worms. Because, uh, you know, I I have a few buffs that I really like using. And I wish that uh, I had more of them. So that's something to consider. Oh my goodness, it's insane how much damage this thing does. 
<laughs> our build is crazy. I, I actually kind of want to just open this up and then refight him. Oh, we got the Flareon, which isn't bad, but it's not something that I considered using yet. So that throws another wrench in our thing. All right, here we go again. We're going to, we're going to, oh, oh, it's too fast. It's too fast, too furious. All right, we're going to try this again. Um, and going uh, hit this. We're going to go like this. I don't, I don't think actually hitting the rainbow helps there, but whatever. <laughs> I use it anyways, so I've I basically come over here. I wait for him to do his tornadoes. We've talked through all this before, but and then I go back over this way. I, I actually almost didn't get hit at all in that last fight, just crushing it. Like we we just burned through this so quickly now. This is totally an MVP um, build when it comes to the damage. You know, I say I don't take damage, and then I almost just died. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't like that one bit. Almost died there too, but we got that one dead. Okay. Give me my bags. Unfortunately, I can't even do the fight again. We got a second Flareon. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Oh, that is... Oh, that's heartbreak. No. Come on. Come on. Second one? Really? It... It does this. It's okay. It's... It's pretty good. I can't deny that. It is pretty good. Crap. Okay, do, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna take the same build that we're using right now, uh, including the Tempest Staff because I think that's MVP. And we're because like think about all the extra damage I just did there. Just blow him up. I'm not gonna go farm for more truffle worms because that's actually kind of annoying to do. But I am gonna go test this out on the Journey Mode character with Empress of Light. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try this. I think I actually have to launch it down here. We're in like a graveyard. I'm not sure how well that'll work. <laughs> um. Do I have, I forgot to check if I have everything set up actually. I believe I do. So it's just a matter of getting this all together. Yeah, I'm, I am missing one of the accessories that I'm using on the other one, which does increase our DPS, but this is, oh my goodness, I'm taking so much damage. It's just to see if we can even do this or like, can I, can I remember how to do this fight well enough to not take any hits? Cause that would help. Nope. <laughs> Oof. Oof is the correct answer there, but maybe we go try the lunatic cultist. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I don't think, realistically speaking, that going and doing the lunatic cultist... Actually, hold on. Let me switch it to daytime. Otherwise, it's going to bother me. I don't think doing the lunatic cultist at this point and then going and getting, say, the... Um, the nebula weapons is necessarily good, but potentially getting the the solar weapons is. I don't think getting the stardust dragon is good because we have the tempest staff, but I do think potentially getting one of the the vortex weapons is. So we have three builds essentially to to make that make more sense. I could do. Either the oh the thing hasn't spawned. All right, I'm gonna have to just set the timer on this. But um, essentially, we could do something like I don't know. We could do uh, a solar build, so we could do a melee build. We could do a, uh, a a ranger build with the nebula stuff, or we could do a mage build or not nebula um, vortex. Is that what I, oh, I'm confusing myself now. Or we could do a mage build with the nebula stuff. But the nebula stuff actually, damage-wise, is less than the razor pine. Like, single target, boss killing damage, the razor pine's gonna beat out some of the nebula stuff. So that's something to consider. Although, the nebula stuff is got some track, or does have some tracking to it. When it comes to our moon lord kill, we haven't tested that out yet. But I'm pretty sure I want to, I don't know, try and... Focus on melee, maybe? Because we can use this weapon. This weapon is freaking excellent um, with our melee build. Our damage is going to be much lower, though. So that's kind of like what we have to decide. If if we go with the melee build, our damage is going to be lower. Oh, I've frozen the time, haven't I? So that's not helping at all. Um, we're just waiting for the lunatic cult to spawn. So either we go with the lower damage, higher defense, melee build 
and just do the fight because the fight is a is a consistent dance and the dance never changes um you know the 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 laser beam happens at the same time every time okay here, here they are see we figured that out so the laser beam happens at the same time every time okay we know that much then on top of that the um the the eye things or getting getting the uh what are they called the true eyes of cthulhu to pop out at the right times that's possible too so we don't necessarily have to worry about that we can we can figure that out but it's like mm, how do we do it i'm not sure I'm not entirely sure um our mage damage is a little lower but here we go we're gonna we're gonna try this so i'm just gonna go ahead and get these guys all dead took a hit early on which i didn't need to all right, lunatic cultist. So you can see his, he's got a hood and on his hood is like a little yellow um, stripe. That's one of the quickest ways that I have determined to find out which is the, the false one and which is the real one. So you'll see in a moment here, he's gonna do like this thing, We're taking a bunch of damage. Um, this is bad. All right, here he goes. So you look and it's that one. That one right there was the one. Actually, I'm not sure what hit him, but it was the correct one to hit him. Um, I'm, I don't know what it was. It actually may have been one of these damaging orbs. I haven't considered that, but that's pretty nice if that's the case, because we've spawned so many of these stupid things at any given point. But this fight is the same thing over and over, uh, minus these purple orbs, which you can utilize. Oh yeah, you know what? I think I'm putting a, like some kind of dot on him or something. I think maybe. And it's, it's allowing me to uh, target the correct one. Here, I, I gotta bring him down here where I can actually do the the clones because that clone phase is really, really annoying if he's in, in a bad spot. Um, oh man, I don't know what it's doing, but I love that. I love that I, for whatever reason, he's got a dot on him and it's just ignoring that whole mechanic because if you screw that up, you screw up the fight. Uh, thankfully, we can cheese this one. Uh, we could go back at any given point using our do, 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 do. All right, boom. And then, oh my goodness, it spawned a pillar right here. So in this case, in this situation, we have to practice this. This is a real, this is a training exercise, but it's a real exercise, okay? We have to come over here. We're going to pick this up. They're going to do all their things, right? You see this crap? This is so annoying. <laughs> um, let's say, for instance, uh, you know, we don't have that. Let's, let's, let's free up some inventory space. Okay. So what will happen is this is... This is a, a live training exercise. What we might need to do, which is um, this one is the the vortex one, I think. Uh, I can't remember which one is vortex and which one is nebula. I think this is vortex, um, which is the ranger one. But what we're doing, you see, you see, it's got a blue bar on the bottom. The thing is, that blue bar is slowly being taken off anytime we kill one of these. So like. You know, you see like the little things being shot off that way. That takes the, the blue bar off. That's the little shield. So when we do this, um, we're, we're essentially going to be kind of cheesing it, which was a suggestion from one of you, and it's an MVP suggestion because I've tried it since then, um, which is we're going to sit on the edge over here and kill things that overwhelm us, um, but not, not go too deep into there because once you kill a bunch of this stuff, it stops spawning. So essentially, we want to do the the... Uh, the solar one first because then we can switch to melee and use this weapon okay and by using this weapon we can clear out a lot of this stuff really really easy but you'll see that when these are dying only the big ones only the big circle guys are actually letting the thing go back so these little ones are kind of useless they're just more annoying than anything else but you see we're at half so we're just sitting on the edge of these pillars um letting them spawn and then we're coming back over here to stop it spawning and we're clearing out what we've got. So we're making we're making the event manageable for us in a way that makes this way, way easier. Do I want to go do the lunatic cultist? I don't think I'm ready for that. I don't think I'm ready for that. But we're close. I think we're really, really close. And that that's good news. Because that means we're almost done. That means we've almost done it, guys. We've almost completed hard mode. Let's go try real quick something. Where's the solar pillar? Oh, foof, way over there. All right, that's fine. Here, we're gonna we're gonna go up. It's not well, actually. Does it let me mirror? It does. All right, that's good to know. So that's a that's a good get out of jail free card there. So we're gonna assume that we. 
Actually, how do I want to do this? I got to think about this for a second. I think for now, let's just leave our mage stuff on and see how that works. But we're going to go to the solar pillar. And the solar one, in my opinion, is one of the worst ones for us. Oh, this is the nebula one. Yeah, that's right. I forgot about these guys. These guys teleport. That's going to be a pain in the butt. All right, we're not even going to bother with nebula for a bit. Because as you see, they do so much damage. They do so much damage. I'm just trying to get to the other pillar over here. <laughs> but in order to do so, we just have to clear these nerds out. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Now we just need to recover uh, before we get over to solar. So the solar one has a couple things that are hyper bad versus what we've got going on. Um, I like to fly around and the solar pillar has a mechanic that if you're in the air, there's this like dragon thing and it just comes straight at you. Um, but if you're not in the air, if you're, if you're on the ground, it just kind of ignores you a bit. So, and you can only do damage to its tail. Oh, so annoying. I, I hate the solar pillar so much, but we're going to, we're going to test it out because if we can get the solar pillar done after the lunatic cultist, like immediately, then that puts us in an excellent spot because then we get both the daybreak and the solar eruption. Um, so those are solid weapons to go into the boss fight with. Uh, and the, and the weapons that I feel most comfortable at this point doing, maybe I say that, but it's possible that we may end up going mage because just the crazy damage output that we can get from it. As you can see, like we blow through this stuff. All right. So here, here you go. So let me go over here. I'm immediately dead. You see how that works? I am not looking forward to this. I have to practice this phase. I was at like full health and it took two, it took two hits from a ruptured scroller to kill me. Do you see why this is the worst part of the game? <sighs> Goodness. This next bit is going to be the hardest part. It's way harder than the moon Lord. That is for sure.